All right, guys, we've got just uh, right at 10.05 here. I want to thank all of you for joining us again today for a very informative webinar on IORA and the uh, difference that they're making in patients' lives as well as the outcome for both uh, the provider and you, the agent. I think uh, we'll all agree that uh, the fee-for-service model has become outdated, and as we move more toward outcome-based care, organizations like IORA have led the front uh, with that along with uh, Medicare Advantage carriers to provide excellent service. And our good friend Francine Chung is gonna go over some of that today with us and help us to better understand how this model works. Uh, before I turn it over to Francine, I just wanna remind all you guys to make sure that you're contracted and ready to sell for all the pertinent carriers in your area. And if you haven't gotten access to MyMFG, please reach out to us here at the office at 866-568 9649 to make sure that we get you permissioned and ready to go to use MyMFG as your quote and enroll platform. It's a great tool, guys. It's a great place to use as a CRM. It's a great place to look at the plans that are available in your area and a great way to do your applications as we move through AEP. Uh, if you recall, we've talked numerous times simply about the fact that close to 15% of all the applications that are turned into Medicare Advantage carriers are never assigned to an agent. Uh, due to a lack or uh, miscommunication of a writing number or misspelling of a name. And unfortunately, that's a lot of hard work that goes uh, unrecognized for you guys in terms of commissions and also uh, creates problems if the uh, beneficiary calls in or the member calls in and they can't identify who the writing agent is. So let's make sure that we kind of move toward the 21st century and take advantage of the great technology that Messer Financial is offering you guys uh, as being contracted through us. So with that, I'm going to uh, turn this over to Mrs. Francine Chung. She's going to tell us a little bit about Aurora and the uh, eight states that they're currently operating in and how the model looks. So everybody, please uh, give your, your undivided attention to Ms. Chung, and let's have a great webinar. Francine, are you there? Yes, I am. Good morning, everyone, and thank you uh, for this wonderful morning. I thank you everybody that's on the call to set aside this time to you know to listen and to learn a little bit more about IRA primary care. I am so excited that the AEP countdown has just started. Yes, and that I know in about seven days uh, AEP the gun will go off and you'll be out there busy selling. I want to support all of you but more importantly I want us all to work together to transform healthcare. And that's his, here's uh, the reason why I'm here. Let me introduce to you IR Primary Care. So our agenda for today is we'll talk about who we are. I'll talk about what we do, who we serve, the value that we bring to IORA partnership, and that's all of you. And then obviously we'll close with Q&A. My name is Francine Chung. I'm the account exec, uh, strategic account executive here at IORA. And it's really, truly an honor for me to be part of a culture that, you know, it's uh, to work to restore humanity and to be aligned with IORA and to take a small part in transforming healthcare. I hope that I can share my passion and my belief with all of you and that together that we can make this transformation that is so necessary in uh, North Carolina together. So a little bit more about IORA Primary Care. We're here to transform healthcare, and I believe in my heart that all of you who's on the call today wants to take you know, a small part in transforming healthcare. IORA Primary Care is a doctor's office des designed and dedicated to adults that are on a Medicare. We simply don't see little children in their practices, it's not that we don't love them, we like them, but we are catering and tailored to meet the needs of adults that are on Medicare. We realize that this population is a population that has gone underserved and the attention has not been given to them. And we want to provide the respect and the need to and meet the needs of our adults that are on uh, Medicare. IRA has a unique approach when it comes to giving providing health care to adults that are Medicare. Our approach is relationship-based, team uh, approach. That means we work not only with our patients, we work with their specialists, the insurance plans, the caregivers, and to make sure that we provide the best care for them and to really understand what the needs are. 
And a part of the team is all of you that's on the call. Agents are a huge part of the care model and the care team that we see because you, all of the agents, you have the first interaction with, the, with these um, prospects. You understand what their needs are. You're the ones that help navigate through the Medicare Advantage plans, or maybe just original Medicare. You're the ones that help make those needs assessments. And again, find the plan that's best suited for them. And I know you wanna be part of that care team and together we can work together to provide a plan, a best plan to meet their needs. So before we go into more about IRA primary care and how we deliver our, our our transforming care. I want to introduce to you Rishika Fernanda Pule. He is our co-founder and a CEO of, of IRA Primary uh, IRA Health. His mission was to transform healthcare, to restore humanity to healthcare. And his aha moment was a story that he shared with me. When I had a when I had the privilege of meeting him in Boston, he said to me, the reason why I came up came up with IRA Primary Care, and this was about um, 11 years ago, in 2008, he had an aha moment, a breakthrough. It was a cold winter night in Boston, in Massachusetts. He is a Harvard-trained, Harvard-educated doctor. He just finished seeing patients, about 35 patients, he said. He was exhausted. It was at the end of the evening, and he came back to his desk to find his desk covered in patient charts. He now had to note them, chart them, document all of the visits. And his heart broke. A little bit of his soul, he said, died because he had the resources and the knowledge to care for the patients that he's seen, but he didn't make an impact. He, kept, he wasn't spending enough time with them. He realized at that point, the system is broken. He had the resources, the patient needed him, but he just didn't have the time because it was all transactional based and he wanted to make something different. And that right there was the aha moment and the genesis of IORA primary care. Since then, in 2010, we opened our first practice. In 2019, as of today, we will open 50 new practices, excuse me, we will have 50 practices serving adults on Medicare. We have a national footprint. We are in nine different states. North Carolina is a new entrant for IORA primary care as, as it is in Texas. We are opening six practices in Texas and we're so proud to be opening five new practices in North Carolina. Actually, let me correct myself. I was about to say we were opening, we have opened five new practices in North Carolina. And as of today, we have seen over 50 patients in North Carolina, and we have over 130 patients scheduled for uh, our, our five practices. Again, you, you can see that we have a national footprint, uh, and we are in uh, not only in North Carolina, Atlanta, and Arizona, and so on. Here are the locations of our five practices in North Carolina. We have two in the Charlotte area, Mecklenburg County, and we have three in the Triad area, Greensboro, Winston-Salem, and Hind Point. And again, we have opened our practices and now we're proudly serving our Medicare patients. So what do we do? You know a little bit more about us in our history. So what do we do? We are patient-centered care, primary care, uh, uh, facility. We have invested heavily into primary care. As earlier as Jeff mentioned, the traditional fee-for-service is our typical physician's office. It is a, it's a dying trend. The trend is a value-based primary care, which means we invest heavily into a model where we improve the healthcare outcome, reduce the total spend of medic unnecessary medical spend, and in reinvesting the the, the cost, the savings back into the primary care. A typical physician's office will have a nurse that supports maybe two or three physicians. At Iora, we have one primary care physician that is supported by two health coaches, a nurse and a behavioral health specialist. A typical 
primary care physician's office will have an average of 2,300 patients per panel, per, per doctor. At Iora, we have a, the third of size. We have a typically about five to 600 patients that we manage, giving us enough time to build that relationship with our patient. It's hard to in, in, uh, develop a, a relationship with the patient where you understand their needs when you have a patient panel of 2,300 or 2,500. With a smaller panel size, we're able to do so. One of the things that we do at Iora is that we create, well, we, we do a daily huddle. And what that means is every single morning before we open our doors to seeing patients, we huddle and we, talk, we talk about our patients that are on our schedule, maybe the, ha the one that has been hospitalized, but most importantly, the patients that are assigned to Iora but yet have not seen one of our primary care physicians. It is important for us to remember to know who our patients are and make sure even if they're not coming into our practice, we're thinking about them and that we have a plan for them. Hence, again, we have a smaller panel. We're able to talk and discuss the care needs of our patients. With a smaller panel size, uh, patient panel size, we're able to provide them a same day appointment as needed. We have what you would call a video chat with their patient if they're not able to come in and we correspond with them via email or a telephone call. I know one of the complaints of our seniors is that they don't have access to their doctors. No one schedules to get sick, but when they are sick and they're not feeling well, I hear that they call their doctors to find out, well, we can't see you today, Mrs. Jones. So your alternative is to go to an urgent care or an emergency room. I know you hear that story over and over. And I know it, as a broker, you get frustrated because these are your clients. But at Iora, we will make a point to see them same day. If they're not able to come in, as I mentioned, we have the means for video chat and we'll talk to them over the phone. We want to make sure that the patients have access to us because that's part of a good primary care. It's all preventive. A length of stay at a physician's office, at a typical physician's office, may look like five, 10 minutes with a maybe 30 minute waiting period in the waiting room. At Iora, we spend about an hour with them. Do they need an hour with our, patient, with our physicians? Maybe, maybe not. But the bottom line is we schedule for an hour with all of our patients so that they have a time to share what their needs are because their needs may not be, their medical needs will be different from the provider's need. We don't wanna treat just the condition, we wanna treat the patient as a whole. So we, we again provide them the, the time of an hour to, to discuss what their care plan looks like and what their care plan wants, uh, what, their want, what they want for their care plan to be. All these additional benefits at, are uh, at no cost to the members at IORA. So really quick review, we have no rush appointments. Patients can see their primary care physicians at, 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 as needed in an urgent care basis. We have an accessible team that wraps the care around our patient. We coordinate the care for them, whether it's going to the specialist or to ancillary service, or maybe if they're hospitalized, we follow them at the hospital, make sure that their discharge uh, is correct and that any discharge notes that we follow up. We have an on-site lab at each of our practices so that we don't you know, create another obstacle for our patients. We provide the on-site lab so that we could reduce a number of appointments or a number of transactions for our patients. And lastly, in transportation, at IRL, we want to make sure that every obstacle that the patient has in seeing their, seeing their primary or being treated is removed. And hence, we provide unlimited transportation to and from IRL primary, primary care for our patients. It's not just for our uh, transportation to our office, but we provide that transportation to their specialists as well, because we know going to the specialist is just as needed and just as important. So again, our primary care office provides transportation to, uh, for our patients to the specialist as well as to our practices. 
So who do we serve at IRA? Here's a quote from our, one of our patients that they had the best ever uh, experience that they've ever had. To me, this quote should be a quote for all seniors, not just IRA patient. All of our seniors should receive a patient-centered care from all the primary care physician. So who do we serve? We have Dawn here, an example of a patient who may have a lot of uh, chronic illnesses or maybe diagnosis. His main goal is to keep healthy and be stable because he can't manage his, his diagnosis. This is an ideal person for Iora because their chronic condition means that they, there's a need, a greater need for a relationship-based approach. And there is a need for someone to coordinate his medical condition or medical care. Because Don is frequently going into the doctor's office, maybe it's a specialist, maybe has been hospitalized. So again, because of the chronic uh, diagnosis or his, the, the need for the coordination of care, Don will be an ideal person. At Iora, someone like Don will be issued what we call a worry score a high worry score, meaning we need to talk about Don, we need to look at Don's chart more often, and we need to make sure that we follow up on Don's you know, um, health, health, uh, health plans. So we have our health coaches that work with Don more intimately on a regular basis because we wanna make sure that he's provided the care that he needs so that he can be stable and have a more healthier and happier life. In addition to Don, we also have patients that are like Mary. She's a young 65-year-old, maybe a 75-year-old with very little medication that she takes or maybe very active. And she joins Iora to make friends because at Iora, it's like a community. She doesn't come to us just because she's sick, but she comes to us to, to get exercise, um, uh, to attend one of our exercise classes, maybe some educational uh, seminars on remaining healthy and most importantly, maybe fall at preventions. But she comes to Iora because she wants to be plugged in for social activities. And how many of you know of patients or clients of yours that go to their doctor's office for social gathering? But at Iora, our office, our practice is, is designed so that it looks and feels more like a reception area at a hotel or a living room. We want to create a community for our seniors. So someone like Mary, who has a low worry score, we still think about them, but they're coming to Iora to, to be plugged in, to use, you know, to feel like that they're part of our community and remain active and independent. And they look to Iora to keep them healthy and active. So what are the plans that we accept at Iora? We accept original Medicare, with or without Medicare supplement, of course. Blue Cross, Blue Shield of North Carolina, Humana, and United Healthcare. The three Medicare Advantage plans that we had contract with Humana, United, and Blue Cross at this time. And again, we accept all Medicare supplement plans. So I've spoke a lot about the value that we bring to Medicare um, beneficiaries, our seniors. But I want to speak a little bit about the value that we bring to all of you that's on the call, our broker partners. Well, we spent a lot of money this year on AEP because we know that in AEP, that it's when all of our broker, all of you generate most of your business, if not 50% of your business. So we've done our share to create the awareness and branding for IRA so that that will help, I hope, will create an awareness so that when you talk about Iora, Iora it's not something unfamiliar, that maybe the, bro that the seniors had a chance to hear and see our videos or our commercials. We've done a lot of mailers, digital advertising, uh, commercials, as well as billboards. In addition to our advertising efforts and advertising campaign, we have hired 10 new uh, patient enrollment coordinator. This is a team that is based out of Boston to support our broker partners. They're there to answer any calls from our patients and from you as well to learn more about IRA, 
to understand what we do at IRA, maybe the benefits that we provide at IRA, such as the transportation. What does a health coach, uh, a health coach do and what is their role? They can speak to that. I don't expect for you to remember everything that I have spoken to you about today, but our uh, patient enrollment coordinator team, they're like an extension of you and they remember and they'll know to, to help with uh, the questions that the uh, clients may have. And they're there to service your clients as well as answer any questions that you may have. Part of our patient enrollment coordinator is to help save time for you. And we will know that you, re you receive a lot of calls from clients that ask questions about their benefits or how do we, you know, I received a new uh, medication, where do I get this filled? Or other information, other questions about their um, the care. Maybe I received this bill from the a doctor's office. They say that I owe this much money, how, what do I do? or maybe they have a referral issue. Those calls could be solved at IORA. Our PECs, our patient enrollment coordinators, will be able to help them. Again, saving you the time from unnecessary administrative uh, duties, let us help you focus on the, the selling and enrolling of members and helping you keep those members that you've brought to IORA uh, stay by providing them excellent service. Our referral and our retention is really high at IORA Primary Care. So the enrollment process, I like to re uh, refer to this as really a selection process rather than enrollment. Uh, for the lack of better words, we use uh, enrollment for now. So in order, when you enroll a member onto a Medicare Advantage, Advantage plan, you can help select um, IORA primary care as the primary care choice by using what we call a agent portal. All of you can be assigned, if not already, an agent portal. An agent portal is a basically a, a, uh, a, a website landing page in which you can use to submit the name and contact information of your clients that you want to refer to IORA to, to select us as their primary care. This method is most seamless and is, is streamlined and is most efficient. By utilizing our agent portal, we, can, we have the capacity in real time, reach out to the patient or the clients that you refer to us within 24 hours during the weekdays. And then uh, if it's referred over the weekend, we can reach out to them the following Monday. It also provides us the ability to track the, the referrals that you've sent to us and make sure that you are kept as a broker of record so that there is no uh, question that we can always be, you know, we can always protect you uh, and your book of business. Another way, another method of referring patients to um, IORA is by calling our enrollment team directly. And lastly, you can have your clients refer, um, call in to IORA Primary Care directly as well to select our, us as their primary care. The agent portal looks like this. If you're interested, please reach out to me and then I can create this portal for you. We, we can build it and it's as simple as, as uh, what you see. You just submit your agent information, excuse me, your client information and you hit the submit button or the send button and they will get the contact information and you can download it on your phone. And it looks like this. So at this time, I would like for all of you to consider positioning IRA when you see your doc, when you when you meet with your clients to ask to ask them, you know, if how their primary care uh, physician, how does it go when they see their primary care physician? Do they feel supported by their doctor's office? And if the answer is if they're reluctant or hesitant, maybe perhaps they need a physician that can provide the care that they need that wraps around them, spends time with them? Or maybe how long do you actually see your doctor will be a question that you can ask. Do you feel heard and understood? Can you know that confidently at IORA we'll spend an hour with them so that we can, you know, uh, so we don't rush them and that they're heard. And I think one of the things that our you know, patients say is that I don't spend time, in the, 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 that doctors don't spend enough time with them and it's only a couple of minutes or you know five, 10 minutes. 
So you can have a confidence that IORA will spend time with them and that they're not rushed. And maybe lastly, you know, how do you want it to be at your doctor's office? And they, they want to be heard. They want a partner. They want someone to understand what their needs are and address them, not just treat their condition. You know that at IORA, we do that. We look at the patient as a whole and we wrap our care around them, not just condition, uh, treating their con condition. And it's based on a relationship that we have with our patients. So you can confidently um, know that we will provide the excellent care, the hands-on uh, care to your clients. And at this time, my presentation of IORA is um, it's done, but I wanna share with you just before I leave one last story that is compelling. I was told when I went to Boston and when I spoke with Rishika Fernanda Pole, and I had asked him to share with me some of the best stories that he've had as, as a primary care physician. I remember the story that he had told me. He had just opened his first practice and he as a CEO start seeing patients. He saw a patient that walked in and he referred her to her as a hot mess. Her hair wasn't brushed. There wasn't enough color in her face. She was a little heavy set. She had diagnosed so many different diagnoses. Her diabetes was unmanageable. She had so many medications that she was taking. She had come in and she, he started treating her. But then as a CEO, he had other responsibilities. So he had um, to, uh, uh, given the care, another her care was now taken over by our national medical director, Neil Patel. So he took over the care for her. In about six months, Rishika had come back into the practice. He was visiting people, and the patient saw Rishika after six months and ran up to him and said, "Hi, Dr. Fernando Hundley. Do you remember me?" And it it took him back and said, I don't remember her. And then more she talked to him, he realized who she was. Oh my gosh, that's my hot mess patient. When he saw her, she had color in her face. She had a skip in her walk. Her hair was brushed. She looked great in his, um, in his mind. And he, he said, you look great. You look transformed. What happened, Miss Hot Mess? <laughs> and she said, well, you cared about me and made me care about myself. And I didn't want to let anyone down. That's why he started Iowa Primary Care. He wants to empower patients to be part of the transformation in their healthcare. It's not just about us. But the patient has to be proactive. The patient has to be empowered. And you can't empower patients to make that change if we don't invest in them, if you don't have that relationship. And we were so happy that we were able to do that. And now in North Carolina, we can do that all together with you. And I'm so excited again to, to be in North Carolina to transform healthcare. Thank you. All right, Francine, thank you so much. Uh, just want to remind you guys out there that uh, part of what we try to do here at Messer is to better inform you guys. So we'll, we'll do a little quick q and I just want to remind you that less than a year ago, private equity firms uh, thought enough of Iora and their care model to invest over $100 million of equity uh, to allow these guys to continue their growth model throughout the country. And uh, just want you to know that they are uh, committed to this endeavor to improve health care for your senior clients. Now, the way that applies to you guys as agents is simply this. If you look at what Medicare Advantage carriers are asking or offering you guys to do now in the terms of health assessments, this is just another layer of how we're trying to transform the patient or the member experience so that they're happier with where they are, which in turn would mean for you guys less and less work in terms of having to roll books of business or move clients from one plan to the other because they weren't happy with their level of care. So keep that in mind. I would ask Francine a couple questions here. Francine, can you talk about the plans as far as in North Carolina that currently are contracted with Iora and who those are, if you don't mind? Yes. 
We are contracted with United Healthcare, Humana, Blue Cross of North Carolina, and we accept all Medicare supplements and original Medicare as well. Okay. Thank you. And how how does that coordinate with the actual plan itself in terms of if we do have to have somebody go beyond the primary care that you guys offer to a specialist or to the hospital? How does that work? We are contracted with all of their p providers. So it's if the member is on, for example, United, we work with all the United uh, contracted providers, and other specialists and the hospitals. There shouldn't be any interruption in the care that they receive. Think of us as a coordinator. We orchestrate the care for our patients. We do not want any disruption. So they have peace of mind. We work within the network of each health plans. Great, great. So that would include uh, any issues or anything they may have in terms of prescriptions with their, their Rx every month, correct? Absolutely. And remember, I forgot to mention, I know I said that we provide transportation to their specialist and to uh, unlimited transportation to the specialist and to our pr uh, practice. We also provide transportation to pick up their medication to a pharmacy as well. So there is no barrier for our patients to receive the care that they need, whether it's to pick up a medication, see a specialist, go get an x-ray, or even come into our office. We provide the transportation. Great, and if a, if a patient were or a member were to move from one carrier to the next and they're both uh, contracted without or what would the process be for the members? Anything they need to do? No, the, I, well, you know, you as a broker will be providing them with the um, the enrollment application. So as long as you continue to say establish patient with IRA, select us as the primary care, it should be seamless. Awesome, awesome. And as far as if we want to do community events with you guys throughout the year, as far as the brokers, what's the process you would want us to follow? Do they need to contact us here at Messer and then we can coordinate that with you? Oh, I'm so glad you asked that. Jeff, they can just contact me uh, and then I will create a schedule for them. And we have group rooms at each of our practices and an agent of the day room that they can utilize. And we can work together uh, in that. Awesome, awesome. And for the brokers out there, guys, there's, there's also the opportunity for you guys uh, to do some presenting at these locations. I think uh, Francine mentioned that they do community events to try to draw their membership in to keep them more active in the community. So there's the opportunity there for you to present what you do and to educate those members on Medicare and other things. So uh, take advantage of this opportunity. Make sure that you mention this as an option to all your clients as you see them throughout pre-AEP and then once the enrollment period starts so that they know that this is an option for once they select certain plans. And if you have uh, other carriers that you wish had this, please let me know and uh, we'll get those conversations started between our aura and those other carriers to see if we can't get them contracted for the 2020 plan year. Again, I'll remind you, as Messer Financial always does, please make sure that you are con correctly contracted and ready to sell before you represent any of the Medicare carriers. Contact here, contact us here at the office and uh, we can tell you what we see in terms of where you are on our rosters, but I also suggest that you check inside your agent portals with each of the carriers to make sure that your status is ready to sell for 2020, as we're only about a week away from uh, the official go button for this year's AEP. If you've got additional questions, please call us here at the office again at 866-568-9649 and ask to speak to someone in producer support or one of the marketing directors and we'll help get you in contact with Francine and make sure that we address any of your issues as we get closer and closer to the start of AEP. On behalf of Messer Financial Group, I wanna thank each of you for choosing us as your FMO partner and I wanna thank you for participating in our informative webinar with Francine today and we look forward to joining you guys very soon for another edition of Messer's webinars. Francine, thank you so much and we'll be in touch with you shortly. Brokers, have a safe, and productive day out there in the field. Let us know if you need anything. Have a great day. Take care. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye now.